Welcome to week two of our online learning. But now Marka Bodine has just pleaded guilty to sexually abusing a 13 year old student. Today, we're going to discuss a topic that's both shocking and disturbing the top 10 cases of beautiful female teachers who have sexually abused their student. While we'd like to believe that all teachers have the best interests of their students in mind, sadly there are some who have committed unspeakable acts of abuse. It's important to shed light on these cases and raise awareness about this issue. So let's get started. Mary Kay Letourneau Mary Kay Letourneau was an American teacher who became famous in the late 1990s for having a sexual relationship with her student Vili Fuelau, who was only 12 years old. Letourneau was a married mother of four and had been teaching sixth grade at a school in Seattle when she began the relationship with Fuelau in 1996. Letourneau was caught with Fuelau in a car in 1997 and was charged with second-degree child rape. She initially pleaded not guilty but later changed her plea to guilty as part of a plea deal. She was sentenced to six months in jail, but the judge allowed her to serve her sentence outside of jail as long as she agreed to stay away from Fuelau. But Letourneau broke the terms of her plea deal when she had another sexual encounter with Fuelau. She was subsequently arrested and sentenced to seven years in prison. Letourneau gave birth to two children with Fuelau while in prison. After serving her sentence, Letourneau and Fuelau married in 2005, but they later separated in 2017. Letourneau passed away in 2020 due to cancer at the age of 58. Deborah Lefebvre Deborah Lefebvre was an American teacher who gained notoriety in 2004 for having sexual encounters with one of her 14-year-old students who she taught at a school in Florida. Lefebvre was arrested in 2004 and charged with two counts of lewd and lascivious battery because he had sexual relations with a student. Lefebvre first said she wasn't guilty and was given bail, but she later changed her plea to guilty and agreed to three years of house arrest and seven years of probation as part of a deal. However, Lefebvre violated her plea deal by having sexual contact with the student again. She was subsequently arrested again and faced additional charges. In 2005, Lefebvre pleaded guilty to two counts of lewd and lascivious behavior and was sentenced to three years in prison followed by seven years of probation. However, she was released from prison early for good behavior. After her release from prison, Lefebvre divorced her husband and changed her name back to her maiden name. She has stayed out of the public eye since then and has not spoken publicly about the case. Lindsay Jarvis Lindsay Jarvis was a 27-year-old teacher from Kentucky who was accused of having sexual relations with a 15-year-old student in 2018. She was a teacher at Woodford County High School at the time. According to reports, Jarvis had allegedly been having sex with the student for several months. The student's family became aware of the relationship and reported it to the authorities. Jarvis was arrested and charged with third-degree rape, third-degree sodomy, and possession of a controlled substance. She initially denied the allegations but later admitted to having a sexual relationship with the student. After pleading guilty to one count of third-degree rape, Jarvis was sentenced to five years in prison, which was suspended and five years of probation. She was also required to register as a sex offender for 20 years and to undergo counseling. Marka Bodini Marka Bodini, a former teacher at Tom Ball Independent School District in Texas, was accused of having a sexual relationship with a 13-year-old student. The relationship allegedly took place over the course of three years, during which Bodini had an apron with the student both on and off school grounds. In 2021, Bodini pleaded guilty to two counts of indecency with a child, and was sentenced to 60 days in prison, along with 10 years of probation. However, her sentence was delayed after she gave birth to a child, and she was placed under house arrest until she could complete her sentence. Bodine's case sparked outrage and renewed calls for stricter laws and punishments for teachers who sexually abuse their students. Her sentence was seen by many as too lenient, given the severity of the charges and the harm inflicted on the victim. Brittany Zamora Brittany Zamora, a former sixth grade teacher at Las Brisas Academy in Arizona, was accused of having sexual relationships with a 13-year-old male student in 2018. The student's parents discovered explicit text messages between Zamora and their son and reported the matter to the school. Zamora was arrested and charged with several counts of sexual conduct with a minor, sexual abuse, and furnishing harmful material to a minor. She pleaded not guilty and was held on a $250,000 bond. During her trial, the prosecution presented evidence that Zamora had engaged in sexual acts with the student multiple times 
both inside and outside of the school. Zamora's defense team argued that the victim had initiated and consented to the relationship, but this defense was not successful. In 2019, Zamora pleaded guilty to charges of sexual conduct with a minor, attempted molestation of a child, and public sexual indecency. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison, with a possibility of parole after serving 85% of her sentence. Zamora's case gained widespread attention and sparked discussions about the prevalence of sexual abuse in schools and the need for stricter laws and policies to protect students. Alexandria Vera Alexandria Vera was a former English teacher at Stovall Middle School in Houston, Texas, who was arrested in 2016 for having a sexual relationship with one of her 13-year-old male students, according to reports. The relationship began in September 2015 when the student asked for her phone number, and they began communicating via social media. They later began having a peer, and the relationship continued until April 2016 when Vera became pregnant. Vera initially denied the allegations but later confessed to police, stating that she had fallen in love with the student. She also said that the student's parents were aware of their relationship and were supportive of it. However, the student's mother denied any knowledge of the relationship and reported it to authorities. In August 2016, Vera was charged with continuous sexual abuse of a child, and her bail was set at $100,000. She was also placed on administrative leave by the school district. In November 2016, she pleaded guilty to the charges and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. However, in 2017, she was released on bond after filing an appeal, and in 2020, her sentence was reduced to five years of probation after she pleaded guilty to an amended charge of aggravated sexual assault of a child. She was also required to register as a sex offender for life. Olivia Lois Ortz Olivia Lois Ortz was accused of engaging in a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old female student while working as a music teacher at Wilmington Area School District in Pennsylvania. The student reported the relationship to her parents who then contacted the school district. The district immediately placed Orts on leave and contacted the authorities. An investigation revealed that Orts had engaged in sexual contact with the student on multiple occasions, including in a music practice room at the school. Orts was subsequently arrested and charged with institutional sexual assault, corruption of minors, and other related offenses. Orts waived her preliminary hearing and the case was sent to trial. However, in September 2022, she pleaded guilty to charges of corruption of minors and furnishing alcohol to a minor. The other charges were dropped as part of the plea deal. She was sentenced to five years of probation, community service, and was required to register as a sex offender for the next 15 years. Rachel Ray Spiss Rachel Ray Spiss was a teacher in Louisiana who was accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. In September 2014, she and another teacher, Shelly Dufren, were arrested on charges of carnal knowledge of a juvenile. During the trial, Ray Spiss admitted to having a sexual encounter with the student but claimed that it was consensual and that she did not know he was underage. She was charged with one count of carnal knowledge of a juvenile and one count of indecent behavior with a juvenile. In 2015, Ray Spiss pleaded not guilty to the charges. In November 2015, a jury found Ray Spiss guilty of one count of carnal knowledge of a juvenile and acquitted her of the indecent behavior charge. She was sentenced to five years in prison with all but one year suspended and was also ordered to register as a sex offender and serve three years of probation after her release. In October 2016, her conviction was upheld by an appeals court. Shelly Dufresne Shelly Dufresne is a former high school English teacher from Louisiana who was accused of having sex with a 16-year-old student in 2014. The incident reportedly occurred at a home in St. Charles Parish, where Dufresne and another teacher, Rachel Ray Spiss, allegedly had sex with the same student on separate occasions. The incident came to light after the student showed a video of himself having sex with Dufresne to a fellow student who then reported it to school officials. Dufresne was initially arrested and charged with two counts of carnal knowledge of a juvenile, but later pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of obscenity in exchange for a three-year sentence with two years of probation. During the trial, it was revealed that Dufresne and the student had exchanged explicit messages for several months before the incident. It was also alleged that Dufresne had previously had sex with another student from the same school, but was not charged in that case due to a lack of evidence. Dufresne's co-accused, Rachel Ray Spiss, 
was also charged with one count of carnal knowledge of a juvenile, but was never convicted as the charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. Sarah Falks Sarah Falks is a former high school teacher in Lockhart, Texas who was accused of having an improper relationship with a 17-year-old male student in 2017. The incident was reported to the school officials, and Falks was placed on administrative leave immediately. She was later arrested and charged with having an improper relationship with a student, which is a felony offense in Texas. The accusations against Falks began when a school resource officer was notified of a possible relationship between Falks and the male student. The officer then conducted an investigation and found evidence that the two had been engaging in inappropriate conduct including kissing and touching. The investigation also revealed that Falks had exchanged explicit text messages with the student. Falks was placed on administrative leave on March 16, 2017, and was arrested on March 21, 2017, after the investigation was completed. She was charged with engaging in an improper relationship between an educator and a student, which is a second-degree felony in Texas. Falks was released on a $10,000 bond, and was ordered to surrender her teaching license. In November 2017, Falks pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of assaulting a child under 17 years of age and was sentenced to probation for two years. It's a difficult and uncomfortable topic, but it's important to bring attention to these cases and to take action to prevent them from happening in the future. Thank you for watching.